The eyes of the nation will be on Lake Placid on Christmas Day. The trials for the 2022 U.S. Olympic team for Nordic Combine and Ski Jumping will be held at the newly renovated Ski Jumping Complex in Lake Placid. Those trials will be broadcast nationwide on NBC. Our Jack LaDuke now on how the Olympic Village is getting ready to host the big event. Workmen on the jump site and Mount Van Hovenberg Nordic facilities labor to complete the world-class venue. Trial jumps for the upcoming World University Games are scheduled for just a few months off. To have a venue like this with the, the modern technology, the plastic, the irrigation systems, the incredible ice track, which these athletes are now jumping on literally a sheet of ice that requires 1% or less of the energy, water, and human resources that it used to take to snow it. The original ski jumping 100 years ago was uh, all manual labor of packing the snow and shoveling the tracks and the lanes uh, for the in-runs. Um, and, and then as uh, tractors evolved, some of the outruns were groomed, but a lot of it was still a, a handwork. For us in Lake Placid, uh, on the in runs in particular, we were hand running. Uh, it was all hand work. We had to make snow, sh shovel it, uh, pack it in place, and then carve in the uh, lanes for the skis until two winters ago when we installed the frost rails uh, that provided an ice surface. And that's what we're using on the in runs in the summertime also. It is the very latest in technology that has allowed the athletes to train both winter and summer here at the Olympic Ski Jumping Complex in Lake Placid. Yes, I did say summer. The ski jumping ribbon cutting here was far different than before. No scissors snipping the ribbon. Instead, a hometown U.S. jumping team member soaring off the lip in perfect form, a ribbon cutting to remember. So when I was up there ready to go for the first time on the new hills, I was nervous, but not nervous for the reasons that I was scared to jump, but I was nervous that I wouldn't love it as much as I loved it before. These were my favorite jumps in the world, and, you know, they underwent a lot of changes, and so I was unsure if it would feel as good as it did before, and so when I got into the air, I knew that it's different now, but I still love it so much. With the long sports history of the town, the two-time Olympic host looked forward to adding a second World University game to its legacy. This is not probably a, a revenue generator. This is about legacy here for Lake Placid. So for us, staying within the budget and um, making sure that all of the things get accomplished. So when the torch goes out, uh, January of 2023, the community in the area here is, is left with um, a lot of positive long-term benefits. Benefits from improvements here will last the next 30 to 40 years, officials say. We've already had some uh, um, real positive uh, feedback to this investment, uh, not, not only in the form of uh, welcoming uh, uh, people to the venues, but with the national teams moving to Lake Placid, their, their coaches, their administrators, their trainers, their technicians are all moving to Lake Placid with their families, and that's been great. But we're also being asked to host uh, more prestigious events than we had been holding and, and receiving the uh, marketing value for uh, Lake Placid, for the Adirondacks, for New York State, uh, as well as for the sports. Local athletes who trained on previous venues appreciate what the updating will do. I know growing up here, especially the in-runs, they take a lot of work and when they were made purely out of snow um, and you know temperatures were changing, people would be up there, they'd be working for days and like shoveling all the snow, making it into ice, cutting a track. And now what you have to do, you basically put some ice in there, turn on the machine and the machine grinds out a track and the preparation is simple and we can jump at this time of year like you can't like in the olden days we'd be happy to jump by christmas a rewarding 360 degree view of the adirondacks is seen from a glass enclosed gondola ride up the slope it's for athletes and visitors it's quick yeah a lot of the uh lifts around the world are not nearly as fast as this so that's nice 
Also commanding a full view of the action is a fully renovated spacious lodge for everyone. All of this modernization puts Lake Placid back on the world ski jumping track. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LaDuke in Lake Placid. Jack LaDuke's Adirondack Journal on Mountain Lake PBS is brought to you by Northline Utilities.